My name is Veronique, and I will be your guide for today's virtual tour of the University of Maryland School of Music. I'm a member of the music admissions team here at UMD, and I'm also a proud alumna of the School of Music, where I earned my Master of Music degree as part of the Maryland Opera Studio. The University of Maryland School of Music is innovative, inclusive, and community-focused. We offer a professional music education with all the opportunities afforded to you as part of a major research institution. As part of a larger college of arts and humanities, our curriculum balances the rigors of a musical training with the opportunity to study across a broad range of fields housed within the college. Our students graduate with all the skills necessary to build a successful career in the arts. I am so excited to show you a little bit about the University of Maryland School of Music today, so let's get started. The School of Music is housed in the Clarice Smith Performing Arts Center, or the Clarice for short. This 318,000 square foot complex brings together the School of Music, the School of Theater, Dance, and Performance Studies, the Artist Partner Programs, and the Michelle Smith Performing Arts Library to form one of the largest and most advanced university arts centers in the country. During the academic year, some 600 stage performances, concerts, and lectures are held here. Best of all, students have access to free tickets to most performances. Located on the University of Maryland College Park campus, the Clarice is situated just minutes away from the nation's capital and a short drive from Baltimore, Maryland. The School of Music has relationships with prominent arts organizations in these major cultural hubs, providing our students with the opportunity to learn from and network with world-class professional artists. Our choirs regularly partner with the National Symphony Orchestra, performing with them at the Kennedy Center and even Carnegie Hall. Additionally, students have the opportunity to work with professional visiting artists in masterclasses, workshops, and lectures. Our esteemed faculty and connections to industry professionals support students in their transition from school into their young professional lives. You may have recently seen voice and opera professor Kevin Short starring at the Metropolitan Opera or read publications by musicology professor William Robin in the New York Times. This is the lobby of the Clarice, known as the Grand Pavilion. From this atrium, you can access the six performance spaces the box office, and the Michelle Smith Performing Arts Library. The Grand Pavilion is a space where artists and scholars can meet and exchange ideas. It is often used as a seventh performance venue, where you might discover pop-up opera scenes and one of my favorite UMD traditions, the Lunchtime Bach Cantata series. As you can imagine, this beautiful space is a gathering place for our entire community. Accessible from the Grand Pavilion, the Clarice houses six state-of-the-art venues. Our performance halls feature acoustic modification curtains, a noiseless temperature control system, and separately laid foundations and soundproofing so that sound does not carry from one hall to the next. The three venues primarily used by the School of Music are the Deckelbaum Concert Hall, the Gildenhorn Recital Hall, and the K Theater. The other three spaces are two black box theaters, the Kogod and K Fritz Foundation Theaters, and the Dance Theater. Now let's take a closer look at the three halls primarily used by the School of Music. This is the Deckelbaum Concert Hall. It is the largest performance space in the Clarice, seating about 1,100 people. This is the grand performance home for large ensemble performances, including orchestra, band, chorus, and sometimes jazz and the three Asian music ensembles. The beautiful and functional architectural design of the hall augments the big sweeping sounds of large ensembles while using a riser system to provide an unobstructed view of the stage. Our music students use this space so regularly that it often feels like their musical home. The Gildenhorn Recital Hall seats about 300 people and is used by students, faculty, guest artists, and high-profile university guests. This is easily the busiest venue in the building, as it is used for recitals, master classes, studio classes, noontime recitals, and lectures. The K Theater seats about 625 people. This venue is used for opera productions, theater and dance, jazz band, and the three Asian music ensembles, 
Balinese gamelan saraswati, Japanese koto, and Korean percussion. This dynamic space has flexible seating. The front rows are installed on a hydraulic lift, and when the seats are removed, this area lowers to become the orchestra pit. No seat is more than 65 feet away from the stage, so every audience member has a perfect view of our amazing students in action. This is the Michelle Smith Performing Arts Library. With over 300,000 holdings, it is one of the largest performing arts libraries on a university campus in the country, and it is housed right in our building. Everything that you need for your music classes is right here. Recordings, musical scores, texts, periodicals, and reserves. There are 45 workstations throughout the library, as well as a comfortable reading area with couches and two group study rooms, which can be reserved for group projects or classes. The first floor also has printers, copiers, a free scanner, and audio-video equipment available to check out. The library is also home to the International Piano Archives at Maryland. These archives represent the world's most extensive concentration of piano recordings, books, scores, programs, and related materials, including the archival papers of many great keyboard artists. This is the Leah M. Smith Hall, which seats about 80 people. This room hosts many classes, guest lectures, master classes, and weekly noontime recitals given by the various divisions. The noontime recital series is a great example of our collaborative learning environment. It gives students the opportunity to perform for their classmates, to learn from one another's progress, and to cheer each other on from the audience. This is a typical classroom. Classes like music theory, history, and ear training take place here. Unlike our concert halls, these classrooms are small because our maximum class size is 25, ensuring individual faculty attention for each student. All our classrooms are outfitted with AV equipment and pianos. Here at Maryland, innovation and entrepreneurship are embedded in curricular options like the Arts Leadership Minor, as well as in extracurricular opportunities like our Mcubator Grant Program. These grants provide seed funding for music students' entrepreneurial endeavors, whether on campus or across the world. For example, one of our undergraduate students received two of these grants to curate a series titled Voices Unheard. These student-led recitals were dedicated to programming works by women composers and composers of color. In another example, a graduate student used a grant to found and support a chamber music festival in Guatemala. In addition to our classrooms, the School of Music hosts a music technology lab, computer music studio, piano lab, historical keyboard room, seminar rooms, chamber ensemble room, and more. Music students can reserve classrooms and the chamber ensemble room for group rehearsals, coachings, and even recording sessions. We also have lockers of all instrument sizes throughout the building that are freely available to music majors. This is the Music Education Resource Center, which houses a wide array of instruments, scores, method books, and more. Music education students work hard. As they are developing their teaching and leadership abilities, they are also working on becoming excellent ensemble and solo musicians. Our hands-on curriculum builds field experiences and teaching opportunities in local schools into all four years of the degree. Our music education program boasts a 100% job placement rate. The School of Music features four designated large ensemble rehearsal spaces, each outfitted with digital audio and video equipment. The band room is the largest rehearsal room, as it fits the mighty sound of Maryland Marching Band, whose 250 members embody Maryland's incredible school spirit. The marching band is often made up of students of every major, and auditions usually take place at the beginning of the fall semester. We also have the orchestra and jazz rehearsal room, the choir rehearsal room, and the opera rehearsal room. These large rehearsal spaces each have unique features to support the ensembles they host. For example, the opera rehearsal room has a spring-loaded floor finished with a special coating called marley in order to mimic the feeling of the K Theater stage and keep students safe during dance and stage combat classes. 
The School of Music has 35 practice rooms. Practice rooms are reserved for music majors, minors, and ensemble members, ensuring that our students have practice spaces available without needing a reservation. When the Clarice opened, the School of Music purchased 103 new Steinway pianos, which are located throughout the facility, designating our School of Music as an all-Steinway school. The vast majority of practice rooms are equipped with pianos, mirrors, and windows to our beautiful outdoor courtyard. Applause Cafe, conveniently located near the center of the Clarice, is a great place to relax with friends, meet with professors, or grab a meal, a coffee, or some snacks during the day. Behind Applause Cafe is the Clarice Courtyard. The big band finale and stage combat courses for opera students are sometimes held here. In nice weather, students, staff, and faculty go outside to eat, relax, or do some work together. This spirit of community is embodied by the School of Music's robust engagement programs, which provide students with performance and instructional opportunities while bringing our world-class training to the community. Engagement programs range from summer camps to community concerts to our Collington Residency Program, where graduate students live with senior citizens and host in-house recitals and lectures. This program was even featured on the Today Show. As a UMD alumna, I am particularly proud of the way the School of Music engages with the university community and the world at large. For example, the School of Music participates each year in Next Now Fest. This festival kicks off the school year with vibrant, imaginative, interdisciplinary art making and performance. Another example is when the school presented the Kurt Weil Festival a year-long tribute to the music of Kurt Weill as part of UMD's 2018-2019 Year of Immigration. This festival involved nearly every UMD music student in research and performance. These are just two of many examples of how our School of Music provides amazing opportunities to create, explore, and grow as a community. As you can see, there is always something amazing going on at the University of Maryland School of Music. We hope this virtual tour has helped you to experience our beautiful facilities and our vibrant community. At the University of Maryland, we are dedicated to producing world-class performers, well-rounded artists and scholars, and innovative community leaders. Throughout my time at the University of Maryland, the projects that I have seen and the music that I have heard have amazed and inspired me and we hope that they will do the same for you. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, please visit our website or contact the Music Admissions team. Thank you so much for joining us today, and of course, go Terps!